Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and I've got a follow-up for the uh, very recent video about the story about the guy who got uh, kicked out of a Star City Games tournament because a female player completely misread what was going on, accused him of something he almost definitely didn't do, because she was fed up with other people cheating all weekend, and uh, just kind of took it out on him, I guess. Well, sort of. And uh, obviously the judges are notoriously, allegedly, completely sexist racists. Hey, you piss off a female player, you're done. It, it doesn't matter how much evidence they don't have. So the moral of that story was don't go to a Star City Games tournament. That still stands. But as a follow-up, uh, I didn't know who this Tania Russell person was, which was the female player he was uh, going up against. She seemed pretty cool in her statement. You know, I don't know her, never seen a video of her, never met her. So I like to give people like that the benefit of the doubt. Turns out that was a mistake. Holy crap, she been drinking the feminist Kool-Aid. And uh, yeah, that is a Jonestown cult reference. And honestly, the brainwashing and delusional bullshit that goes on in the, the modern neo-feminist movement or whatever the hell they call it, pretty much the same thing. So I can't read everything she said because she just locked down her Twitter and made it private, which is, you know, standard SJW practice. But I got some screenshots sent to me because you guys are awesome. So it probably gets a lot worse than this, but this is all I have right now. That's probably the best way to put this. So it turns out that um, apparently her team that she was there with was just a bunch of angry man-hating feminists. And uh, when that guy was blatantly, blatantly trying to cheat her by double dropping a land after he forgot and then like, instead of directly telling her, I think you just did this, he just goes to his team of friends, which why the hell are teams allowed to sit with each other? Seating is supposed to be assigned by table. That's how you find your opponent. I have no idea how this happened, but anyway, they convinced her that, oh, he's trying to cheat you because you're a woman. No, ask anybody who's been to a Star City Games tournament. Everybody's trying to cheat you because they are an asshole, because they're a cheater. They're a selfish, manipulative, greedy piece of shit. It has nothing to do with you. Unless they're ignorant enough to go, oh, girl, player, easy target, which is ridiculous and inaccurate. There's no reason to think a female would be a worse player if they're attending a giant large tournament. Clearly they're there because they're somewhat skilled. I mean, come on. Like, theoretically, the majority of the people there are quite skilled or they wouldn't bother. So anyway, it had probably nothing to do with their gender, but they got her all up in a tizzy about, oh, yep, it's it's because you're a girl. And she was like, oh, feminist mode going to 11. Crank it up, bitches. So when you go in with, with the mindset of uh, all men are out to get me, all men are evil, and you know, all this bullshit that they all tell each other and reinforce in their brain and brainwash each other, you know, you can get emotional because your perception of what's happening is not accurate to reality. It's 10 times worse. So it's like to you, it's the end of the world and, and all of society is against you and this is terrible, blah, blah, blah. That's why feminists always say they have like anxiety and depression and shit because what they preach to each other about what's going on in society, which is not true, is very depressing and anxiety inducing. So we actually have a tweet, by the way, from Joseph Bowling that said, uh, she was one of my opponents at the Kansas City Grand Prix in day two, round 12. I think it was round 12. He says, uh, when I beat her, she started crying. Come on. And she directly replied to him saying, I cry easily when I'm frustrated, lol. I kept two strong hands against you and drew lands in neither of our games. And it was extremely frustrating, but that's magic and that's okay. Okay. If that was your opinion, why don't you start crying? Okay. I get livid when I have a perfect opening hand and can't fund it and get stuck on two lands. Don't get sad, get mad. Maybe it's because I'm a guy. Just throwing that out there. There is a distinct biological difference in how guys uh, handle frustrating circumstances. That's just a fact. Not saying it's universal, not saying you can't overcome it. It's just a very slight tendency. Just throwing that out there. So she says, I almost called a judge on you after our first game because of your negative attitude from the moment you sat down. So once again, probably perceived by her, exaggerated and manipulated in her head because, ooh, rawr, men are evil. But these people literally cannot even go through a day and participate in society without, like, having a breakdown or treating men poorly because they're just such, like I said, brainwashed lunatics. So she says, you were the only rude and unsportsmanlike opponent I had at that tournament, which, okay, that's interesting, unless she's just saying that to you know, exaggerate or whatever. Uh, and I appreciate you showing your face. So I remember your name for future events. Jeez. That's almost like a threat. Like she's going to try to report him and get him kicked out or some shit. She should get a DCI ban just for that. So that was how she treated that. But this is the unbelievable part because I'm only talking about what happened previously in that tournament and quite possibly at a different tournament. Well, in fact, it was, it was a Kansas city GP. 
By the way, like eight months ago on Reddit, she had some big Twitter thing about, quote, getting emotional while playing Magic. So apparently she's known for it. She's just not in control of her emotions at any kind of competitive play. Self-admittedly, too, by the way, like this ain't news. But, um, oh, nobody's coming to her defense over this and the situation is so bad. So she went from like, I don't think he did anything bad. This was just a bad situation. I wish he wouldn't have been DQ'd. You know, oh, well, this sucks. To this wonderful gem of a triple tweet. Let's read this. To my pro friends, not many of you commented on or retweeted anything I've said about discrimination in Magic the Gathering. Whoa, 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 back the train up. Now it's discrimination. Now she was she was treated that way by both of them, which literally was all her doing, at least the second one, uh, b- because she's a female and the men are evil. Rawr. So she uh, stripped that facade down pretty quick and showed her true colors. So she's not getting retweeted enough and not getting enough attention. And you know what happens when you don't give a feminist SJW enough attention. Holy shit, Twitter tirade. Are you ready for this one? Buckle up. Actually, I just read ahead. I have to now back up and assure you that I am not making this up. She actually wrote this. This going to be good. So nobody's commenting or retweeting anything I've said about discrimination in MTG, and I'm pretty disappointed in you. The men in particular. I am not just talking about rivals slash MPL friends. Any of you I know personally know who has a, a known name in Magic the Gathering. Well... Not the guy that's been playing since 1998 that you got kicked out of the tournament by having a meltdown and whining to the, you know, feminist male judges. He has a great reputation. Uh, Then she said, this happens every time there's a social issue in MTG. I see the top layer of pro MTG go quiet. By being a passive observer, you're sending the message that high-level MTG is only about game theory itself and that it's petty to discuss social issues. This is very dangerous. Wow, I'm surprised you didn't say problematic. Third tweet, I often see the tired, no need to bring politics into it argument in MTG. Yes, that's correct. (laughs) You need to send the message that pro magic does involve the quote politics of combating racism, sexism, transphobia, etc. No, it doesn't. Um, You can do this by simply retweeting the right things. It's so easy. So in other words, she's going off because people aren't retweeting her, you know, hateful feminist lies enough. Now, here's the thing. Okay, I don't know if this string of tweets, because she locked down her Twitter, but this this was just kind of blindly sent to me. I don't know if this string of tweets was, like, months old. I mean, the screenshot says one minute when they they took it. And the Twitter locked down account symbol is, is on it. So it looks recent, but this seems odd. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody's trying to pull one over on me and this tweet is... Very, very, very old a set of tweets. But uh, I don't know. Either way, she said it at some point. So, yeah, one of those attention, you know, grabbers who wants everybody to believe their way and anybody who thinks differently is just wrong and ignorant and trying to bury the truth. And anybody who doesn't want to drag politics into the game is wrong. And, you know, one of those loudest possible activist liberals. And I just I cannot stand people like that. So she gets mad when people don't retweet her. She gets mad when she has perceived cheating and has a meltdown, which I mean. Somebody cheats against me, I'm going to get real pissed real quick. Like, I'm still in control of myself. I won't throw a chair, punch a judge or something. But, uh, you know, if nothing is done about it and nobody believes me, then we might have an emotional outburst of sorts. Might get a little loud. I mean, I'll give her the middle one. But, uh, like, threatening to leave the tournament or trying to, like, trip, quit or drop out because he called the judge because he didn't believe her accusations of cheating after he didn't do anything and the judge just made him re-roll it. Whatever the hell sequence of events went on that didn't merit that response at all, like, seriously. Somebody with that level of, like, emotional outburst and just, like, common, uh, everyday kind of stuff, and online, and getting a reputation for doing it, they honestly need, like, therapy. Like, they they need some help getting that under control. Usually it's done when they're children, so that it doesn't become a behavioral problem at school or later in life and affect, like, job performance and, like, college admissions and stuff. But, well, I guess they passed her up for that one. Or, like I said, some people are perfectly normal until they buy into the whole feminism bullshit and everybody's out to get you and they get all paranoid. And I mean, have you ever told a flat earther that the earth is round and watched them absolutely fly off the handle? Those people were probably in perfect control of their feelings and emotions until they started buying into that bullshit where everybody's so stupid and I'm right and everybody's wrong and society needs to change and all of science is a lie and oh my god! Well, you wake up, get out of bed, and that's your mindset for the day. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna fly off the handle a little bit easier. Don't buy into stupid delusional cult bullshit like feminism, or you might have a meltdown over dice because your opponent was a man. 
And because the previous day your team of girlfriends uh, told you that the guy was cheating just because you're a female. Like, if I had what I thought in my own head was reasonable evidence that somebody who tried to cheat against me at a tournament did so specifically because of my gender, skin color, like religion or anything like that, like that they were targeting me on purpose and anybody else, they wouldn't have done it. Oh, not only am I going to be pissed, I'm going to find them. We are gonna have some dialogue if I find that shit out. So if that was her mindset coming out of day one, like I kind of get it. But like I said, she needs to come back to reality where feminism is bullshit. Most men treat women just fine. And the ones who treat women poorly probably also treat men poorly because they're terrible people. It has nothing to do with their gender. Or, and this is the full circle kicker, maybe somebody treating you poorly is trying to get under your skin because they found out that you're a feminist and that you hate men. So they, they know you hate them, so they're like, well, I'm going to treat you like shit. Isn't that a fun little ironic coincidence that it works that way? So anyway, yeah, she really honestly seemed like a cool person and that it's like she explained her circumstances calmly and logically and it seemed great to me until everybody else, uh, you know, pitched in other statements she made later and yeah, now, now she revealed her true colors. So I take back anything I said about her that made her sound reasonable. She is not. She was the problem in this scenario and her having such a freak out and the judges being like, wow, this guy must have really done something blatant to piss her off or just, oh, female angry, me bad man me good white knight somewhere in that spectrum of things clearly happened and uh, honestly that judge should be permanently kicked out of the judge program and well this kind of undercuts that but nobody should ever go to an scg tournament for that among other reasons and uh yeah don't get into feminism or sjw activist shit it's all lies and it's just really thinly veiled racism and sexism and everything else they're the most bigoted prejudiced people you will ever meet in your life in the name of equality, if you ask them. It's just another hate group. They are literally Nazis. And on that happy note, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next video. Can't wait to see the comments I get on this one. That I'm going to pin for the entertainment of everybody. You should have seen the last time I pissed off my Little Pony fans. Oh my gosh. You know what? Leave a like on this video if you want me to actually make it, because I have the screenshots to do this. I just thought, eh, maybe it'll be in poor taste. I will make a video if this gets... 500 likes, uh, highlighting all the wonderful comments I got from angry My Little Pony fans. They are pretty entertaining. Or just enjoy all the toxic male toxic masculinity. I'm leaving your channel forever. <laughs> Crap that we're going to see. Either one's fine with me. I'll see you guys next video.